angels cry. Oh, oh, all creations cry. Oh, oh, you are lifted high. Oh. oh Only forever All the people sing Only to the King of Kings Only you will always be Only, only forever he will always be holy forever. The God that changes not will always be holy forever. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above it all. Hallelujah. His name is the highest. His name is the greatest. His name stands above it all. His name stands above it all. And the angels cry, Holy. All creations cry. Holy, you are lifted high. Holy, only forever. All of what would sing. Holy, to the King of Kings. Holy. You will always be holy, holy forever. So God, our God, is holy, without blame, without blemish, without any spots, without any wrinkles, without any tarnish. Our God is uncontaminated. And he will be uncom uncontaminated forever. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. We celebrate our God this morning. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with the way. Some power and love our God is an awesome God. Yes, that's the early morning singing. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. He woke us up this morning and he set us uh, on a path this morning. We are graced with new mercies. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. To Fort Watch, my name is Marsha Wade. For those who don't know me, and I am sitting in for Pastor Wade, who is on leave at this moment. Hallelujah! And so, you will see me for some days. And so, we give God thanks for the just the, the ability to fellowship each morning. Um, I encourage all of us to share the broadcast. Share the broadcast as soon as you come on. Share the broadcast. And so we celebrate you, God. We celebrate you, King. We celebrate you, Lord. We exalt you because you are God all by yourself. None can be compared to you. None can come close to you. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. And so is God all by himself. 
and we celebrate God this morning. He's excellent in all his ways. And so we give him thanks, we give him praise, we glorify him, we honor him, we magnify him because he's king and he's lord and he's master and he's savior and he is protector. And as we are in the month of confession, we have to ensure that we confess who God is. We have to ensure that we confess what we desire to see. And so we celebrate our divine protector this morning. We celebrate Jehovah Jireh. We celebrate our provider. We celebrate our healer this morning. Healing our hearts. We celebrate the mender of a wounded heart this morning. We celebrate wisdom this morning because God is all wisdom, all knowing. We celebrate knowledge this morning. Hallelujah. He is all knowing. He knows. Good morning, Pastor Wade. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we celebrate God for who he is. Because of who you are, we give you glory. Because of who you are, we give you praise. Because of who you are, we will lift our voice and say, Lord, we worship you because of who you are. And so we worship him. Every morning we gather Every single morning we gather not to hear Pastor Wade and not to hear Marsha Wade when it is my my time, my time to come on. When it's my time to come on, it's not to hear me, but to hear what God has to say through the vessel. And so there is a time and place for everything under the sun. A time for Pastor Wade to do Fort Watch and a time for Marsha Wade to do Fort Watch. And, and as the Lord progress, um, a time that he will expand Fort Watch in such a way that we can um, have more persons um, taking, taking the, the baton. But until he does that, when my time comes, it's not about me. What does God have to say to or through Marsha Wade? That's supposed, that is our attitude. And so we celebrate God this morning. For the ability to use me as a vessel of honor. To use me as a vessel to minister to his people. And so mighty God I pray that you will take every part of me this morning. So that they will not see me, hear me. But they will hear you through me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you mighty God. For who you are. Is Sharika there still on? Is Sharika there? I saw when she says perfect morning. And so we thank you, mighty God, for this morning and who you are. And so we are on the top, we are on the, the, the month of confession. Okay, Sherika, hallelujah. As you came on this morning and you say perfect morning, it is indeed a perfect morning because God created it and he set it in motion before the foundations of the world. And everything that God created is good. And for him, everything that he created was good. And so there's no flaws in God's creation, but there can be flaws in men's creation. But this is what I am seeing concerning you, my sister. I am seeing like when you have, when a flower is need, you know, when they need flower, but the, the needing of the flower is like, um, the flower is in a, in a, like a, so you are the flower that has already been needed. So water and salt and whatever to get it, whether you're going to fry, dumpling, whatever. For persons who don't know, like the flour, when you're kneading flour, you add water to it and you add, um, if, you, if persons eat salt, they will add a little salt to it, depending on the kind of flour that, 
you are making and they, they, they mix the flour and the water together until it makes a paste but it's, it makes a thick paste so that it, it's, it looks like a, it looks like um, what's the thing like play-doh but it's something edible so it makes a paste as kind of a thick paste like play-doh so that you can um, pinch it off and roll it and make flour or depending on what you want to do with it but it's like this is what i'm seeing concerning you sharika it's like you are like donuts the persons may know what donuts donut dough look like but you are like the flour and it's like i see like god's god's hand pressing you here pressing you to the right pressing you to the left pressing you forward pressing you backward but the pressing that is happening in the four sections of you of you the front the back the two sides is like the more you are pressed in is the taller you are becoming and so your your dough your dough is not being flattened but your dough is raising to a, a new height you understand what i'm saying so it's like you're being pressed here pressed here but you are going up high and so what i'm sensing that the lord is saying that whatever it is that you are going through now it is his his hand is upon you his hand is upon you because he's taking you to a greater height in him and just as all the potter the potter um with clay and the potter has to put the clay through some things so that they, 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 they if it want if he wants to make a a, a, a vase is a different way he turns the, 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 the wheel and scrape and do all of that God is saying that the processing is for height and so because he's taking you to a great height in him the pressing it feels like you're being pressed on every side thank you Holy Spirit that's it you feel like you're being pressed on every side but the pressing on every side is because of the the elevation that is that he is taking you into it's a season of greater trust in him it's a season of greater rest in him it's a season of great greater gleaning from him that you are going through because of where you are going and so father god we thank you this morning that you are a good good father and you know as i said that you know like how you have some skyscrapers they, they, they make them they are in they are square some of them are are made square of the square shape and then they have the peak at the top i remember when i went to new york and i saw the building was so high that you could not see the top of it because the top of it is seem like it reached the cloud that's how high it is and so god is taking you to a height in him and it may feel like the pressing and the shaking and and it just like i'm pressed on every side but as the word of god says and i will find that scripture as the lord has given me that scripture hallelujah we thank you lord it says um second corinthians 4 verse 8 to 12 we are hard pressed on every side but not crushed perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down and not destroyed that's 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 how i'm sensing that you're feeling now but god is saying it's for good because he's turning you into a skyscraper and so we thank god for just the good work that he has started in you that he will see through to the end in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah we thank you mighty god for who you are and for what you are doing in and through our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and so um we are on the topic of confession and i just want us to pray um for our nation jamaica let me tell you something um guys and 
I believe, listen, I believe there are so many things that are not right in God's sight concerning Jamaica. But there are also so many things about Jamaica that is right in front of God's sight. You have to recognize people of God that Jamaica still has our national anthem. Still have eternal father bless our land, guard us with our mighty hand. It is not discarded. That anthem is played in movie theaters. That anthem is played when a person wins a, a gold medal. That anthem is played at official, official, um, official, uh, what do you call it? Ceremonies. The anthem is still played at, um, churches because we play the anthem every Sunday. Jamaica is still an island whose God is the Lord. Oh, irrespective of the fact that they are people that are doing things that are not right. Jamaica still, I can wear Jesus on my shirt anywhere in this country. There is churches in every nook and cranny in this country. Nobody is being persecuted for saying Jesus in this country. Jesus Christ is still Lord of this country. Jamaica, 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 the land that Jesus loves. And yes, there are people that are doing things that are not right in this country. I am saying, I hear people calling down all kind of things what God is going to do with this nation. All kind of confessions that are being made about what God is going to do with this nation. I hear people even walking up and down hearing them say it and start to say what they are saying about what God is going to do about this nation. This nation who is still saying Jesus Christ is Lord. There are nations in this world who don't say Jesus. There are nations in this world who, if you say Jesus, it's instant persecution. Instant. And Jamaica is still one of them that is still saying, God, God, crying out to God, having all night prayer meetings, having people praying. People pray for this country. Yes, there are wicked people here. Yes, there are people in witchcraft. Yes, there are people in Obia. But there are wicked witchcraft, Obia working people in every country in the world. But this country is still saying Jesus Christ is Lord. And yet still there are people who just come on Facebook every day. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Jamaica. Look what God is going to do, Jamaica. Look what God is going to do, Jamaica. Look what God is going to do, Jamaica. Really? Really? And so there is an earthquake, which is a, an act of nature. And yes, people come out. Jamaicans, Jamaicans this, Jamaicans that, Jamaicans that. And people of God are running with it. Because their favorite pastor said, their favorite prophet said, their favorite person said, you mean to tell me that God, a nation who still have prayer, even if they are trying to take it out of school, it no reach out of school yet. People are still praying. Children are praying in schools. There is still, people are having prayer meetings, same way in schools. And there are nations that don't even want a Bible in the school. And we are still saying, God, God is good. God is this. And people are just speaking words over this nation and people are running with it. What is your confession? Yes, earthquake yesterday. Yes, earthquake last week. But what is your confession about Jamaica? What is your confession? Guard us with your mighty hand, O oh God. What is your confession? And some of these people that are speaking doom and gloom, they don't live here, you know. They don't live here. <clears throat> them into them foreign. And they are speaking doom and gloom upon where you live 
and you are running with it. This a person you say, and that the person they say. And so, guys, as we go forward, confess what you want to see, and if it if what you want to see does not happen, confess it same way. Speak over this nation. Eternal Father is one Father we know that is eternal. And it is God who is the Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Lord of Jamaica. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Lord of the nations. Because of him create them. And let me tell you something guys. Our mouths of power. Guard us with thy mighty and eternal Father. Guard our going out. Guard our going in. Guard our rising up. Guard our lying down. Guard this nation. Guard every nation that is upon um, this life. You have um, evil leaders everywhere. You have evil pastors everywhere. You have evil mothers everywhere. You have evil fathers everywhere. You have people who um who, who who cheer on badness everywhere. You have people who cheer on good things everywhere. And it's Jamaica. God is going to zero in and I say, okay, that nation. Eh? Really? And so I let me tell you. Let me tell you. I don't receive it. I don't receive it. I don't receive it. I speak God of mercy on this nation. God guard this nation with your mighty hand. God keep us free from every evil mouth. Every evil word spoken over Jamaica. Keep us free from it. Keep us free from every evil assignment. Keep the nations that are watching this live. And listen, our anthem is universal. And so pray what I am praying over your nation where you are. Keep us free from evil power. Be our light through countless hours. Touch us, Lord. Touch the leaders. Oh, great defender. God is the great defender. Give our leaders wisdom lest they perish. Give us wisdom lest we perish. Give all of us wisdom lest we perish. And one of the wisdom keys is confession. What are you saying out of your mouth? What are you saying out of your mouth about the nation? What is somebody else saying and you are running with it and saying that the person say it? Listen. Listen very carefully. In this age of technology, we are asking the Lord for discernment. Because the reason why, because some people, some persons, not everybody, but some people, you have to understand that is on YouTube, that's where they make their money. They make their money on YouTube, they make their money on TikTok. And so out of making money, they will come with something that is sensationalism, sensational, and they will come with something that is fear, fear. And so it gets a lot of views. And then their pocket is filled and you are living with the spirit of fear. Their pocket is filled, mountain come, um, TikTok write them a check, YouTube write them a check, and you now are left with a confession of negativity. You are left now with the confession of negativity. And you're walking up and down with that confession because of who said it. And I am saying to you, I am saying to you, what are you saying? What are you saying? Knowledge send us, Heavenly Father. And God is sending us knowledge this morning. Grant true wisdom from above. I went to Nigeria. I went to a section of Nigeria. 
in that at that section that I went to you we had we had security escort I only see those things on TV where people get security escort to go to church I see those things on TV I hear about them but I never know that I would be <coughs> at a particular place where I needed to be security escorted men with high powered weapons were escorting me to a place where I am going to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord why did I need to have security escort because of where I was and whom they served I am saying in Jamaica do you need that to say Jesus Christ is Lord do you need security escort you ever hear say security escort carrying anybody to church yet here no matter our community is having rail up and kick up people still put on them clothes and go to church if in a mind shop the very men and women who are doing the rail up and kick up tell the person who is going to church pray for me here mama pray for me here daddy pray for me am i lying notice where most listen i went on a particular road the other day that road was known for was known for nefarious activities and on that road alone one little narrow road so that two car cannot pass on church at the front church going down church in a one little crevice round the so in the community church there one little narrow road that you can't have two cars passing when when a car is coming one have to stop over the side and wait so we go down the little narrow road and go down go down and when we go down you pass another church and then you go around one corner and the church where we were going is round in at the corner there so and that community was once known for and church I keep church I keep I mean church up at the front I keep like church I keep and so I'm saying let us pray for mercy over our nation pray for God's favor to rest upon us pray for the uh, um, the leaders to recognize and and turn Pray, and it's the same thing you must pray over everyone in your nation as a believer. And so your confession, God, you created this nation. You created the nation that you sent me to live, God. Moses bargained, is Abraham bargained with God. Bargain with God. Abraham bargained with God and said, God not kill them because you know what some of us may be thinking that if it is that anything that people profess over this nation happen is only the wicked people them no everybody everybody is a part of it everybody every human being is a part of it and so you have to be careful what you confess what you run with from off the online online profit and online prophetess them online prophets and prophetesses that are only seeing doom for this nation whose god is still the lord the last time i check for majority of the people And it's same same with other nations too. It's not everybody wicked and everybody doing bad things. But there are some. And so Father, we thank you this morning for our nations. When you created them, you say it is good. We thank you, mighty God, that your hand that is not too short is upon them. That no evil can harm them. Your hand is upon every nation that it is free from every single pain. Every pain 
that the enemy desires to to bring upon the people every pain of fear because fear is pain fear causes pain and let me tell you something i've never done this before but i'm going to do it now there is a movie that i took my son to watch yesterday there is a child's movie that i took my son to watch and i tell pastor way that when he can both of us are going to watch it it's called inside out you need to is one of the best best kids movie i have ever watched ever even my son was telling his father daddy you need to watch this movie it's it was about our emotions and how our emotions operate listen it i know it's a, i sense in my spirit that that person who wrote that is a believer inside out you need to watch it adults need to watch it carry your children to watch it inside out whether it's showing overseas whether it's showing local you need to watch it inside out and i'm saying god i thank you this morning that you are our god and just as how you were around jerusalem with a wall of fire I pray even now that you are around every nation because you no nation can be too wide for you. No way nation can be too high for you. No nation can be too low for you. You can get around them. And so mighty God, just as though you surrounded Israel with a wall of fire. Mighty God, I thank you that you are surrounding our nations this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I thank you that your glory is permeating in our nations this morning. The glory that is seen out of us is permeating through our nations this morning. The glory that is emitting out of us is seen through our nations this morning. The glory from our confession is being seen through our nations this morning. And so we thank you, mighty God, that you have the whole world in your hands. You have the whole Jamaica. In his hands, he has the whole USA. In his hands, he has the whole Canada. In his hands, he has the whole world in his hands. He has the whole of Australia. In his hands, he has the whole of Trinidad. In his hands, which country you come from? Which country are you watching from? He has the whole Nigeria. In his hands, he has the whole world in his hands. Where are you watching from? God has it in his hands. We can take the country out of his hands with what we say. And Daniel, I saw somebody put up something about Daniel. Daniel prayed for his nation. One somebody. And God said to Daniel. The first time you pray, I hear you. One person. Is there a one to pray for their nation this morning? And is there a God to answer the one person praying for their nation this morning? One person went before God and was praying for their nation. And God said, the first time you prayed I heard, but you were being held up by the prince of Persia. And so you can pray for your nation. You can pray. One person can com command angels. Isaiah, thank you so much. So stand in the gap for your nation. And don't be a party to people who just walk up and down and just gloom and doom and gloom and doom and gloom and doom is god coming of course he's coming is he coming soon very soon are people to repent of course is jamaican supposed to repent yes they are but is the world supposed to repent yes the whole world is jamaica alone for repent no all away And so we thank you this morning. All of us need to repent. Even me, 
this morning before I come to Fort Watch and I am having my devotion, I repent and I ask God to forgive me from every form of unrighteousness. Anything that I may have said and done that is not pleasing unto you because God says, obey my word. My obedience is the most critical thing that I believe I can do obeying God's word. He's calling call us to obey his word. And when you read in the book of Nehemiah, I was reading Nehemiah chapter 8 because I'm just gleaning from Nehemiah. And when I read the book of Nehemiah chapter 8 and the people, when Ezra started reading from the book of the Lord, the people even started crying. Because the word of God touched them to their heart and their soul. And it was, it, they, he had to tell them, go and go eat for me now. Go and go drink some sweet juice for me now. Go and go enjoy yourself now. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Don't mourn. Don't get so uh, 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 sad. Because they were so caught up with the law and the word that was being spoken to them. He told, they, they told them to go and eat and drink. And, 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 and be um, joyful. Because the joy of the Lord is, is your strength. And so God desires for all of us to repent. Every single one. Of us to repent. And so even almighty God. I repent. If even. Because trust me. While I am telling you. About these people. That are just speaking pure gloom. I am. It annoys me. And it maybe shouldn't. Because. Not maybe. It shouldn't. Because. It shouldn't. Because. I should not. Um, get the, my emotions entangled with it. But must just, I must just see it as it is and become a messenger of, of change. How we can change and pray and whatever. Sometimes you pray and you see it manifest. Sometimes you pray against something negative, it manifests. But I believe that sometimes when you see it manifest, it could have been worse if you did not pray. And so prayer shielded some things from happening. Prayer shielded something from from happening in a in a in a in a negative way, in a deeper, worse. It could have been worse, but because you prayed, because I prayed, and so let us pray for our nation. Let us pray. Let us repent, all of us, whoever you're carrying on your shoulders, whatever you are carrying on your shoulders. Some of you carrying your own self on your shoulders. You need to repent for that. Because carrying your own self on your shoulders is a representation of pride. And pride keep God far from us. Pride keep God afar off from us. And so if you are carrying your own self, you have to repent too. If you are carrying somebody who hurt you, you need to repent of that. And so all of us have something to repent of. And so and repentance sometimes is is like a daily, it has to be like sometimes even an hourly routine, a minutely routine. Because sometimes some thoughts that come to your mind. And suppose God should come for, with that that intent, sometimes some intent that we have. And suppose God should come at that time. And so it always go to examine your thoughts and repent of them. And so all of us need to repent. And so we, we, we ask for your forgiveness, mighty God. We repent any thought, any deed, any action that is not pleasing unto you. We repent this morning. We renounce it this morning. And we render it powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We worship you, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We celebrate you and we place you at the highest place. For you are the great high priest. I got a message. Uh, I saw it yesterday morning, but it came the it came the night before, but I saw it yesterday morning. I just want to share with you of the power of confession. So I was at, was at a particular place talking to a particular person. And the person had her had their grandchildren around, some some grandchildren. And while I was talking to the person, 
I, I and another friend were there. The Holy Spirit said to me, don't leave and don't leave without praying for the person's grandchildren. And so I did, I was there just talking, talking, talking to the person. And then I said, okay, um, I need to pray for your grandchildren. And so I gathered them together and I prayed over them. One of them was autistic, was autistic, as you'll hear me say, and he could not speak. And so I said, I prayed over him, prayed over all of them, prayed over everybody who was there, along with my, my the person who was with me. And I said to her, he will speak. He will speak. Just continue to confess. The Lord is going to unplug his tongue. Loose his tongue and he's going to speak. And she sent me a message with a video of the little boy who could not speak when I saw them about three or four weeks ago. And the little boy is now counting from one to ten. Suppose I said to her, all right, make sure he, he, he has the autism, so let him, let him, he, he, more than likely he won't speak, so just, just, you have to just call that, a, just call it a day, or whatever. I said to her, the little boy will speak. Just continue to confess to the little boy, you will speak. You will speak. And let me tell you, that little boy is counting and putting out fingers, counting, and the people are just around him, celebrating and clapping. And she sent me the video of them. They were so jubilant. The little boy tongue has been unplugged. And now he is counting from 1 to 10. What are you saying? What are you saying about what you are feeling? Not to say you don't feel the pain, you know, but you command the pain to go. Not to say you don't feel the headache, you know, but you command the headache to go. Do you command the headache to go and it goes immediately all the time? No. But what is it that you are speaking from your mouth? And so we have to know what we are saying. I got a message this morning. Somebody sent me a message very early too. And as soon as I saw the message, I sent a voice note with prayer. Shutting down the plan of the enemy. Worse like how I, got, I was dreaming about witchcraft this morning. I just shut down the plans of the enemy. Shut it down. Straight. Straight. I put a, I put a sword straight through the plans of the enemy. Put a sword straight through it and slice it. So I don't, I'm not accepting anything like that. Any negativity. Not accepting it. And so I implore all of us as we are in the season of confession. Know what you're saying. Know what you're saying. So I dreamt that. I was at a particular place and there was this lady with this big book and she said to me and I said to her just this is the part that I remember I said to her in the big book that um, she, she I, I said to her something about witchcraft that is happening and I, I act like I asked her to inform me because with, with the with the information you know how to pray and so i said to her inform me about like witchcraft and and i said to her and she she opened the book and she said to me first of all first and foremost let me tell you about grass upper witchcraft that's what she said let me tell you about grass upper witchcraft and when i heard grass upper witchcraft in the dream after a little bit after that I woke up out of the dream but I remember hearing her say grasshopper rich graph and I say when I woke up out of the dream now I started praying against witchcraft shutting down witchcraft every spirit of witchcraft 
So even now, Father God, every spirit of witchcraft, any spirit of witchcraft that is lurking, that mighty God is awaiting our, our day, awaiting our movement, awaiting our going out, awaiting our driving, awaiting our, our even awakening as some persons are still asleep, or awakening any person that concerns us. We shut it down by fire. We render it powerless, null and void, and impotent. Every spirit of witchcraft, every word curse, every manipulation, every altar that is speaking our, on our behalf, that desires for us to walk under the umbrella of their words. We set it ablaze even now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the device of the craft is disappointed. His hands cannot carry out their enterprise. We decree and declare that it comes to naught this morning. My God, in the name of Jesus, every person under the sound of my voice is covered from every plot, every scheme, every trap, every weapon, my God, of witchcraft. In the mighty name of Jesus, whichever form it come in, whatever instrument is being used. Father God, whether it is an innocent ants, to a grasshopper, to a bat, to a butterfly, to a bird, to a dog. My God, in the name of Jesus, to a lizard, we shut it down. My God, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, none at all, none form against us shall prosper. Every tongue, every tongue, every tongue rising up against us in judgment. Every tongue rising up against us to see our downfall. Every tongue rising up against us to see us in setback, delay, derailment, denial. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, we shut it down now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Fire upon that. Fire upon every word. Fire upon every altar. Fire upon every crystal ball. Every base this morning. Fire upon every mirror. We set them ablaze. We decree and declare them burn to ashes. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we decree and declare that the east wind blows it away. Blows it never to rise up again in the name of Jesus. And Father God, as I'm about to just speak about what the revelation that I got. God, it shall not come to, to fruition. It's just knowledge. As you said in your word, lack of knowledge causes us to perish. And knowledge causes us to live. And so we shall live because we are informed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall live because you are the great revealer and you are the one that is revealing upon us, to us, for us, because you are mindful of us. And so God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so, the grasshopper, I didn't know that they had grasshopper witchcraft in the natural. And so I went on my Google and I typed in grasshopper witchcraft. I'm going to realize that they do. And so grasshopper witchcraft is um, used as a means of bringing good luck. Good luck. Let me read it for you. I didn't know that. Good luck, abundance, blessing, moving forward. All of those things. I never know that. I didn't even know that they had that. It's a dream reveal it to me. It's a dream reveal that to me. Just a while ago. Before I came on Fort Watch. That's a, that, that's a dream I had. Fortune, focus, abundance, intuition. To take a leap of faith. Achievement, freedom, wealth and patience. What a revelation this. Thank you, um, Altia. That's what I learned this morning from a dream. Why would God reveal this from a dream? He knew I was going to do Fort Watch this morning. He knew I was going to do Fort Watch this morning. Why did he give me this dream before I came on Fort Watch? I know personally, I take it for myself. Because God has revealed it to me. So I am taking it. And I am praying against any form of... Because let me tell you something. Satan don't give good gifts. The gifts that Satan give. The gift that Satan give looks good, smell good, sometimes taste good, and feel good. But it is not good. And so when a grasshopper, people may have grasshopper and whatever, and they say it's a good luck and abundance and blessing and whatever, whatever. 
and they are going to whoop a man or will they see a, if you see a grasshopper you're in good luck or if you whatever you see a green one you're in good luck all of those things i never know that those things exist it's a dream revealed that to me just a while ago and so god is giving somebody knowledge this morning god is the, is, is one of two things is that god is giving you knowledge our God is warning somebody who may be coming across my life. Or somebody who may have a grasshopper nice in an them place. An a, 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 a image of a grasshopper in their place. And because of this image of this big giant grasshopper in a them place. They are wondering why is it that all of a sudden all hell is breaking loose in their house. I'm just talking as I as I, it's coming to me. Because it's a symbol of witchcraft. It's a symbol of witchcraft. And so it looks like abundance is coming. As you hear people say, the first, the first, the first, um, the first set of times, them things look good, the money are run. And all of a sudden, the enemy just start to pull back the money. And every minute you hear people, them have to go back to the Obam and go re, 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 restart them engine. They start to go back and restart their engine because it's like nothing not going for them. You can, people talk it. I hear it so many times in deliverance. So it start off good. Always look good. Always start off good. Business a boom. Everything going good. So anybody who have any grasshopper in on a buckle. And somebody tell you to put the grasshopper in your buckle in your house. Smash it to smithereens and ask the Lord for forgiveness. I know what I am talking guys. I am saying to you what I am seeing. If you have grasshopper, gather up in buckle. Because somebody tell you say it will it will bring fortune. Get rid of it. Because it is a symbol of witchcraft. Grasshopper. You hear what I said? I used to. I used to. I used to watch a particular person. I was sharing it the other day with some people. I used to watch a particular person. And the person said to me, to us. I used to watch a person ritual. Rit, what I was saying, rituals. I don't know, bless you, darling. I speak uncommon favor, blessings, open door, increase, witty inventions and ideas over you and over your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this season of new beginning, I confess that you shall have an idea. That shall take your business to a dimension that it has never seen before. And a dimension that no other business place that does the same as you can ever imitate. You see, just like oh, KFC chicken cannot be imitated. I pray that God will give you an idea in this new beginning. Before this month is out of new, the new season. That will catapult you. That will catapult you to have a secret ingredient that no other company can imitate. They only can try, but they can't get it. Okay, listen to this. If you think it's joke, I make in. Somebody just sent me this text. I'm talking about the grasshopper. My God, you know, when I was pregnant, my, my manager saw a grasshopper in the office and said, I don't know how it got in here. And I told her it was standing in front of her door and not moving. She said, it's bringing a refreshing and blessing. So she welcomed the presence of the grasshopper. She said she read about it and that it is good. You see what I'm saying? See, somebody just confirm it to me there. So I am, I, listen, I'm not calling the animal bad. I am calling the intent bad. 
the motive is what is bad and that is where my next um in set of information is coming from the animal itself is not bad but the motive is bad is why you have it if you have it get up in buckle say have it get up in your house and say it is going to bring you abundance and blessing and refreshing and wealth and all of that that is what makes it bad because you're not actually harboring something positive you're actually harboring demon in your house because that is actually an idol you are saying that the god who is the god who provides all these things blessings and favor can do it so you're going to get it from his creation his creation is who do it so it's not the animal that is bad, but the intent that is bad. Just like how they program birds. The bird itself is not bad, but what they did to the bird is what makes it bad. And so I'm saying to you, so I was, I used to watch ritualistic, I mean like hours watching a particular person ministering very very taken by just the power and all of that that emitted from that person and so while watching one day the person said we need to get a picture of them and put it in our house because the picture of the person will provide protection and whatever because that he was in my sight and in my eyes a powerful person and i went and i took the picture offline went and got it put it in my house and my living room in my living room and i put it inside my house guys listen to me how all hell broke loose in that house i had some demonic attacks in that place i even had um i even had an attack of the person it the person who is on my my table coming like a dracula after me through my tv i am there sleeping in my house and the person i am there in my dream watching tv and i see this person coming through my tv like dracula coming after me while i was there watching the person on tv and I don't I don't remember how I get rid of it. I think it must have passed away. It gave me wind of it. Wind and, and spoke and I was telling him I, I had some I had some attacks in that place. And I recognized that I took an idol into my place. Is it bad to have the, a person picture in your place? No, because I have pictures of people in my house. But why do you have the person picture in your house? That's the problem. And it's the why, which is a representation of the motive, a trap demon. And so God would have had it. That we got a call to go to a house. And listen to me. This incident that happened to me is not in Jamaica. It happened. So I am telling you, demons are everywhere. And just as always say, wicked people, they're everywhere. So I want to make the point. Say it's not Jamaica alone of demons. Demons are everywhere. Because it's, it's far in me the day. And God was going through that. In, in my house. I am saying. We got a call. And we went to our house to pray. And so when we went to the house to pray. The first thing Pastor Wade see. Is the same smutty picture. The person put up the, the for them picture that was very much bigger than my picture though. Lord man. Hey. My picture was little and small. Four by six. Their picture, it was a big my portrait. Lord. For them picture bigger than my own. And so they were having the same demonic attack. Pastor Wade said to the person, because I didn't see the picture. Pastor Wade was the one who saw it and said to the person, why do you have that picture in your house? And the person gave them the same story that I gave. And Pastor Wade started to tell them my testimony and tell them to take down the picture and why. And what? Why? And so I am saying, 
the motive is where the problem is with the grasshopper. So next time you see a grasshopper, you have to step on him and kill him because he may bring whatever. It's when you have the grasshopper as a symbol of good luck in your house, when you welcome the grasshopper into your office, Welcome the grass. Listen, the lady, the people them have a garlic and windowsill doors jam, fridge top everywhere. The whole house was garlicalized. The whole house was garlicalized. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Say them around dopey. And remember, me tell you, the more they garlicalize the house, is the more the dopey come because the motive again. Garlic is for your food. Garlic is for pressure. Garlic is not to run. Can you run up with garlic? Can you run up with garlic? And so I'm saying to you, it's not the things that are bad, but what you put to them, what confession you make over them is what caused the problem. And so if you decide that this thing that I have is going to bring good luck, that's where the demon say, okay, now I get an open door because she confessed. She went to X place and they confess over this oil. Although it is Benjamin's olive oil, they confess this over this oil. And now this oil is no longer oil, but it is transformed into my confession. So therefore, so our confession is very, very important. As I say to us, people who are wicked use the word of God. But they use the word for a different motive. They watch too much fools movie about running Dracula with garlic. It's true. If you're going to your bed and putting on your panty back way, all of them something there. If it is that you are being being harassed by a sexual demon you have to first check what door do you have open check out that first are you watching porn are you listening to some songs that go straight to bringing some memories of some old boyfriend or some old girlfriend are you in the company of people who are talking about their relationships in a in a way that will make you feel if you are single or so make you feel like you need somebody and all of those things now start to open door on you and then now somebody now tell you now if you put on panty back way or put on red panty listen to me now Put on and, and put on your shirt back with you and all of them foolishness there. And what happens is that you can't sleep you're under tarmy because demons now start to come. More of them start to come. More of them start to say, okay, this is a place that I can live. A place that I can dwell. And so we have to give God. Give God thanks for revelation this morning because I'm just flowing. Flowing because of this confession thing. I am just flowing this morning. So we destroy every power of every satanic intent upon our nation, Jamaica, upon our lives, upon our children, in the mighty name of Jesus. All satanic arresting agents, release our nation this morning. Release our lives this morning. Release our children this morning. Release our purposes this morning. Release our documents this morning. Yeah, man, too much old wife tail and feeble picnic with red ribbon pan them on. Listen, let me tell you something. All of these things and picnic with, you see, even now you go down um, certain places, you, you see pe people picnic barn and them putting on red red ribbon and them and say them around up here. Nothing no go so. Nothing, nothing don't go so. Hallelujah. Word of evil spirit. I command every spiritual contamination. Every spiritual contamination. Every every concept that we may have had from our granny, our great grandmother, our great grandfather, our mother, our father, friends, culture, 
every contaminated spirit be destroyed by fire this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ every contamination every spirit of contamination in the name of jesus christ of nazareth shut it down now we shut it down now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let the brush of the lord scrub out every dirty in my spiritual life in the name of jesus every dirt in our spiritual life some of these concepts that we have are dirt causing us to be contaminated causing us to be oppressed causing us to be depressed causing us to be of uh, uh, money issues and that's why it is very important where you get your counsel from very very important where you get your counsel from because where you get your counsel from determines your elevation where you get your counsel from this determines your elevation or your demotion you hear what i said listen i remember getting a counsel about and i love to tell stories people that say my love i always have story but you see when you tell persons about your experiences they realize it's true things happen for real i remember getting an advice listen um what are some like vinegar vinegar is used to clean your house people use it and clean tiles and it does cleaning tiles beautifully vinegar make the tile nice and clean but you remember when i spoke about your confession and your motive somebody told me when i moved into a particular place years ago that when i put vinegar at the corners of my house it's going to keep away certain things and it welcomes the spirit of god something to that effect and i'm wondering now if that is why me fight demons saying so that the place there all right let me speak english i am wondering now it just it just and i take the, the um the the, uh, the the um the vinegar i may say i drop them in the corners and crevices of the holes I did get a pastor and the pastor did come pray out the place. But I remember doing that with the vinegar and I remember wiping out the place with the vinegar. I remember doing that. Listen to me now. That also teach me how to teach me spiritual warfare in a, to another level. I fight demon in that place to another level. motive can vinegar run evil spirit can vinegar welcome the holy spirit what welcomes the spirit of god your worship your prayers what welcomes the spirit of god your obedience your sincerity of heart what welcomes the presence of god yes man the ritual and practices vinegar good advice bad vinegar wash chicken and make pickle no round up you see what i mean? see I, I know i'm saying to you know um i don't know if you were on marlon but i was i'm just talking to us about the things that we we confess and some confessions that we take on in our own lives we allow people to speak them over us and then we carry out the action that means if it is that somebody confesses confesses it to us and we bring the action we carry out the action we are a party to the party we are a party to the party so we may not have said it out of our mouth but our actions is what said it our body language is a confession 
I was at the children's hospital when I saw a baby crib tied up with red everything and the day after the seat there, the baby died. Nurses started to cause saying that these things can help the babies. You see what I'm saying to you? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? People telling you, um, so when the people say the things to you and you carry it out, and that is why someone is so important. It says, blessed is the man who want not in the council of the ungodly. Because ungodly council will cause your problems ungodly confession out of their mouths and you carry out the action can cause you to end up in problem they are living their lives and you are the one ending up in the issues as a result of somebody's bad counsel bad confession words that they spoke over your nation words that they spoke over your life words that they spoke over your children words over that they spoke over your marriage and that is why you have to be so careful you or your husband having any little issue and who confess into your marriage you or your wife having any issue who confess into your marriage because their confession fashion can determine your actions and that can determine whether your marriage live or die some 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 an open door to I do yes yes so the confession what are they saying over you and so confession is every so every contamination this morning every contamination we hold it hold it by the neck and squeeze the life out of every contamination every contamination this morning and we declare and declare that we are being washed by revelation, washed by knowledge, washed by wisdom, washed by understanding, washed by good counsel. In the name of Jesus Christ, all of us, including myself. Don't bother think I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. I believe that anytime God gives me a word, the word goes back on me first. I'm seeing three of me. You are seeing one of you. I'm seeing three of me. And so every word that I am speaking, I am getting everything back to myself. I am not speaking to you. I am speaking. I am speaking to myself as well. Because this is for me. And so every spirit of contamin contamination that we have taken unto ourselves. And one of the things that the enemy does that we... Um, that we sometimes are so we we tend to look outside at other people and that other people is doing something to you but it's really you doing it to you he hides that it is you doing it to you he hides that is you doing it to you hallelujah he hides that is you doing it to you so you keep looking outside and so we thank you for a mirror this morning, a mirror image of ourselves this morning, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's only the beauty of Jesus must be seen in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Um, Delsha, I don't know what New Jersey means to you. But I hear I hear the word expansion concerning you. And I also hear the word New Jersey. Delsha, I hope you are still on. As I saw your name, I saw expansion. It's like I see like, uh, you know, vans. Vans, like vans just driving. Driving with... With, it, with goods God vans just driving with things because there is an expansion and like the name and the van and it's just it's like holy for them just going different different places but New Jersey is the one that came just burst up in me so I don't know if 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 you're considering New Jersey or or but I see I see like vans just going out because God is enlarging and expanding your boundaries and your
borders in the mighty name of Jesus I speak as I see I speak as I declare I speak and I decree and declare that it is so in the name of Jesus New Jersey I speak New Jersey I speak New Jersey into existence I don't know but I just see NJ big big NJ and so God I thank you even now for open doors divine connections lord i thank you for the release of, of 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 transport and whatever is needed for the expansion the enlarging in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth father god i thank you i thank you lord that it is so and it is done in jesus name hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Ah, Rabba Sokorobo Sete Tete. Reba Baba Bakaraba Sata Tata Baba. Reba Baba Bakaraba Sata. And so, Father, we thank you that you are quickening the whole of our beings this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are quickening us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Del do you do you do anything with flowers? Like floral arrangement or something like that? Like flowers, like flowers. I see like one of the vans have like like flowers, like a lot of flowers on it. Like floral, you know, like when you do like a complete. Oh, you say used to. She said I used to. I'm seeing one of the one of the vans with like flowers, like a lot of flowers. Like, you know, when you do floral arrangements and something like that. One of one of the vans I see with some nice, beautiful flowers on it. So um, I can only prophesy in part, so you maybe need to go to God and ask Him, What, why did you show me a van with flowers on it? God will tell you whether you need to revisit it or something like that, since you used to. But, um, that's I saw one of them with flowers on it, and so we thank God for His answer to you in the name of Jesus. Quicken us, Holy Spirit. Tell the Holy Spirit to quicken you. Tell the Holy Spirit to quicken you this morning. Quicken you, quicken you, quicken us, Holy Spirit. Quicken us mentally, quicken us um, emotionally, quicken us spiritually, quicken us financially, quicken us health-wise, quicken our ears to hear, quicken our eyes to see, quicken our tongues to speak. Let us speak, O oh God, with a tongue that is quickened, quickened, O oh God, to see the manifestation of the, our good confessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Quicken us this morning. Tell the Holy Spirit to quicken us, quicken us in the name of Jesus. Quicken us in purpose, quicken us to our calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, quicken me now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, write it, write it, put it in ink, write it. Holy Spirit, quicken me now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Quicken our strength this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Quicken us, Lord. Ignite us, Lord. Ignite us afresh this morning. Hallelujah. Ignite us, Almighty God, afresh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We want God to ignite us. Ignite us. Spark us. Spark us afresh this morning. New. We want to be afresh. That means it's new. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We place you at the highest place. For you are the great high priest. We place you are high above all else. As we come to you and we worship at your feet. And so Father God we come against any form of flooding. Flooding. Any form of flooding. In the name of Jesus. Any destruction. 
as a result of flooding. I'm seeing somebody, it's like your family lives near a river. It's like the river, it's like you live a little bit above the river. Like a little, like a stone throw. It's like you can hear when the river, you know when the river dry up, you know when the river flowing, you know when the river, because of the proximity. The proximity. And so even almighty God, I'm seeing like a, 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 a cardboard just, you know when debris going down the river, going down the river. But in the mighty name of Jesus this morning, we shut down every form of overflowing of its bank. And even now, any form of contamination because the river is a source of water. Washing, cooking, all kind of source. And so any form of contamination, we shut it down now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any imminent destruction that has been set in motion. Father God, we ask that your hand be upon this house, be upon this family, be upon this river in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Holy Spirit, repeat after me. Holy Spirit, open my eyes to see beyond the visible and make the invisible real to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, Open my eyes. You want God to open your eyes this morning. Oh my goodness. Somebody just write, my business place is right side of, a, right by a river. Oh God. It will not be destroyed, my dear. It will not be destroyed. The Lord reveal it because I saw the building. I saw the building right beside the river. Right, it's like the river is so near. And so Father God, we thank you that you who reveal as the Holy Spirit opened my eyes. We're asking the Holy Spirit to open our eyes this morning. Every one of our eyes to see beyond the visible and make the invisible real to me. In Jesus mighty name. And so we want the Holy Spirit to open our eyes so we can see oh my god it's 6 24 we're having fun this morning hallelujah open my ears to hear beyond the natural we want god to open our ears so you can hear some things that are from afar off far away you can hear it you can hear some things that are being said in the bed chambers of kings not to gossip about them but to pray against some of the negativities that are coming to shut them down because that's what we do with our confession anything that is not of god we shut it down anything that is of god we endorse it with our mouth that's what we do with our our, our confession and so yes holy spirit open pastor wade's eyes into a greater level and greater dimension this morning in the mighty name of jesus so he can see beyond the natural see hallelujah in the name of jesus hear beyond the natural hear things beyond the natural feel things beyond the natural in the mighty name of jesus because we are spirit beings we are spirit beings and so we we are supposed to be able to see here in the realms of the spirit feel what is happening in our atmosphere atmosphere we're supposed to be able to detect what is happening in our atmosphere because we are spirit beings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you Lord. And we praise you. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. And our tongues are the tongues of the ready writer. And so we only write in the atmosphere good things. As of now. 
as of now as of now we only write good things and anybody who who is near me and hear me saying anything negative i give you permission to say pastor marsha smell yes that is true because you smell too in the realms of the spirit pastor marsha you just said something negative and let me cancel it because i must positive or nothing at all positive or nothing at all and so we thank you this morning mighty god in the name of jesus christ we thank you for your love we thank you for your word we thank you for your revelation we thank you for your transformation we thank you for your resolution and we thank you for your direction father god in the name of jesus we thank you for every person that is upon this live this morning and persons that will watch later we thank you lord for the benefits that you give unto us in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and even now i am seeing clear water in a pot clear clear water clear and the water is just glistening and the water is like it is hot but it is it the steam is coming from it but it is not hot and it's like the water is just so clear clean and glistening and you know what comes in my spirit when you are inhaling when you have like sinusitis and you're inhaling the, the fresh water just coming through your nostrils and so i'm sensing that the lord is saying there is a refreshing like you just inhale and you just inhale the refreshing steam of the water but it's not hot because god is not going to cause the the steam to burn you but the, the, it's still sending off the the the, the um the heat the quote-unquote heat but it's not burning you because you know like how they fire don't burn the shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire furnace but the steam still coming off and so you're putting your head over this pot of water this morning and let the steam let god send the steam steam through your nostrils and he's covering you with his towel this morning and you just inhale the freshness inhale again exhale inhale again one more time exhale you're supposed to feel different because i do <laughs> oh jesus pastor wade i do i feel different and so receive that refreshing and go forward with that refreshing this morning and so it's time for our communion i didn't take any communion this morning because i didn't remember but i will take my communion as soon as i am finished get your refreshing communion this morning the body and the blood of jesus oh the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power for it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley all oh, the blood that gives us strength from day to day it will never lose its power and so the blood and the body is power and so we eat of his body because he said in his word do this in remembrance of me we remember what he did for us on calvary's cross he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed and so he eat the body 
of Jesus. And his blood that never loses its power. Never, ever, ever loses its power. We eat of his blood this morning. Why is it his blood? Because we said so. We confessed it to be so. And because of our confession, it is his blood. And so we eat of his blood. Drink of his blood. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Let me drink my water. Go forth and have an amazing, amazing Wednesday, God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day is way in the name of jesus christ of nazareth jesus love you and uh, pastor ron wade and i love all of you too on behalf of my dear 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 husband pastor wade i say we love you bless you god's favor be upon you and see you tomorrow you are with me until week after next week Monday or so, maybe. Depends on what God says. And so, whatever it is that God desires to do through me, I welcome His word. Uh, Melissa, before I go, Melissa, I think, uh, Melissa Sutherland, before I go, I don't know if you eat ice cream, but I saw you with a cone of ice cream in your hand. And what I'm sensing the Lord is saying is, Melissa, go and celebrate yourself. Melissa Sutherland. I'm sensing that the Lord is saying, go and celebrate yourself, my sister. I don't know when, when last you did that. But, go and celebrate yourself, my dear. Buy one ice cream. Or one piece of cake or something. But it's an ice cream I saw in your hand. But it is the message is just celebrate yourself. Just just say, God, I thank you for me. I thank you for me. Celebrate yourself. When men don't celebrate you, make sure you celebrate yourself. And I'm saying it about everybody here. Because God is so mindful of you that He chose to create you and send you to the earth. And so you will never, some, some persons will never get a praise from somebody very rare that somebody say, you know that you're a very good person. You know that you are a very lovely lady. You know that you're a very lovely gentleman. You know I really appreciate you. You better appreciate yourself. Love yourself. You understand? And so, Melissa, go and celebrate you today, my dear sister. It's a prophetic move. It's a, I don't know what will happen at the end of it, but just go and celebrate yourself. When God gives an instruction, and I, I'm coming off now. When God gives an instruction, just do it. The end result is left to God. On Saturday, and I'll share this testimony, and then i say, good day. On Saturday, the Lord gave me an instruction. He said to me, bless X person. Bless X person. And remember, when you're celebrating yourself, you're not saying, I am the eat of the eat. And I'm me this. And no. No. Just showing yourself appreciate. I appreciate you. You. I appreciate you. Just, just bless yourself. Not to say that you're not going to bless somebody else or you're focusing on yourself like, I am the eat. No. That is pride. Not in a prideful way. And so, Pastor, no, Pastor. So, the Lord said to me to bless somebody on Saturday. And I did with my, I, I call it widow's might. The Bible put widow's might in the Bible. That means he did it as a significant thing. And so, I gave the widow's might because that's what I could afford. That's what I, the instruction I got. And plus, I gave the widow's might. And I and the person blessed the widow's might and was fine with the widow's might. 
in the night, in the evening, the Lord sent back the same person who I gave my widow's might. And the same person was told to bless me with ten times what I gave in the morning. I went on my knees. I went on my knees and I just started celebrating God because when I obeyed in the morning, I didn't have to. I didn't have to because I know the person will be taken care of. All right, everybody will take it and, and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. But I still blessed as the instruction gave and God never sent somebody else to bless me back him send back the same somebody and say not one not two times not three times not four not five not six not seven not eight not nine but ten times what you got have a good day everybody bless you and love you